I'm in my apartment in Miami and I have been testing out the ADTH box. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can turn on your TV with the ADTH box, as you can see there. One of the things that I wanted to bring up while testing this out, because South Florida is actually very unique with its ATSE 3.0 signals here. Um, one of the very unique things that South Florida has is it has two ATSC 3.0 channels that are not actually being sent over the air. The only thing that's being sent over the air is a little tiny piece of code that tells the TV to display these channel numbers. And a little instruction is sent to the TV or to, in this case, the ADTH box to acquire these channels from an IP address on the internet. So when you tap into these, like WPBT here, Look at how fast it loads. Let me just switch to the other one that they're sending, which is PBS World. Like that's not even two seconds. When you go to an ATSC 3.0 channel that's actually being sent over the air, look at how long this is taking. Boom, that is how long it took just to load the ATSC 3.0 channel that's actually being sent over the air. Let's go back to one that's being sent over the internet. Boom, look at how fast it is versus over the air. One, two, three. This is absurd. At a technical level, broadcast should be faster than unicast because there's no requesting going on. It's literally just being sent to the antenna. With an ATSC 3.0 broadcast, it's actually being sent over the air. You don't have to request the information and then a server has to think about it and then it has to send it back. It's just sending it out there. It's just sending it and it should be able to easily start decoding it within milliseconds. All right, so let's try something that doesn't have DRM encryption. Maybe that will be faster. So let's try, um, there's three, there's actually only uh, four channels total in Miami that don't have DRM encryption. One of them is the Grio, one of them is this TV, and then the other one is Local 10 Plus, and then the other one I'm not getting in, which is Alma Vision, because I need a ginormous low VHF antenna. But let's just do the Local 10 Plus, because that's in 1080p HDR. And this doesn't have encryption, so it doesn't have to request data from an A3SA server. And as you can see, that's how long it took just to bring it up. Let's try to switch. We can switch to something that's on the same six megahertz channel that doesn't have encryption. Look at that, this is insane. Versus, let's do something that doesn't have anything being sent over the air. Boom. Boom. So that's my biggest problem right now with all of these ATSC 3.0 products is that they take just so long to tune. And I don't think that it is a technical limitation of ATSC 3.0 itself. I think it's these hardware products that were being given. At the end of the day, Unicast should not be better than Broadcast when it comes to sending live video. I don't know why Unicast is performing better when Broadcast should literally be faster. So at the end of the day, this needs to be fixed. This needs to be upgraded somehow so that we can get the full advantage of broadcast. Well, for now, I have to head back to Western New York. So I'm going to power down this ADTH box and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York over the air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY over the air. Like Western New York over the air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY over the air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY over the air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.